Lightroom is fully built around being fully customizable for you. And one of the ways that it helps you do that as well as saving time is with its presets. Pretty much every feature has presets inside of Lightroom. And a main type of preset is the development presets, which are available in the develop module. So I'm right inside of the develop module and over on my left hand side, below the navigator window, I have all my presets. I'm just going to collapse the navigator window here so I can get more space for my presets. By default, when you have installed Lightroom, there are a number of presets that come with the application. These are all stored under the Lightroom presets preset folder. So here you can find some black and white creative presets. You can find black and white filters. You can find color creative filters other creative filters, effects, general grain, sharpening and tone curve filters. And do play around with these, but as much of the fun as, as having the and using the presets that come with Lightroom is creating your brand own ones. So the way you do this is actually apply a development to the image and then save that so you can use it in any other photo. In this case, I thought I was gonna create something for this one here that I can use for similar photos or just a general effect. So I was thinking to create just a simple vignette effect that I can apply to any photo. And this is just a proof of concept and you can do it with any effect as you'll see. I'm going to scroll down to like reach the effects tab here and the post crop vignetting. I'm going to leave the style set to highlight priority and I'm just going to decrease the amount here a bit. Change the midpoint just slightly out. The roundness, I'm just going to mess around with this the feathering. The highlights. I'm just, I just want to make sure I get a good vignette here. So I think this is going to be very good for the course. And what I want to do now is come over to the left hand side again to the presets. And when I click the plus button, that's right up here. I get the new development preset or new develop preset dialog box. And here I can enter a name for the preset as well as choose which folder I'm going to save it. By default, it's going to ask you to save it in the user presets folder. But if you want to change that, all you need to do is click on the new folder and you can name your own one. For example, you can have a folder called Effects. I'm going to save a black vignette. I'm going to call it that because it's black and it's a vignette effect, so I can easily recognize it later on. Next, I'm going to choose which settings this preset is going to apply to the image. Now, you don't want the preset to change something else. So if I haven't done anything to exposure, I don't want to include exposure in here. Otherwise, it'll set exposure to zero on the image you apply it to, which can be really bad if you've already done some changes to this image. So you only want it to use the values that you've actually changed. In this case, I've been messing around with the effects and the post crop vignetting. So I don't want whatever it has checked down here. So I want to say check none. I want to start from scratch and I want it to tick post crop vignette. I haven't done anything to grain, so I can't tick effects, but I have done something to post crop vignetting, which I'm going to tick here and then I'm going to say create. Now, if I go to another image here, I can use that preset again, black vignette. And if I have the navigator open here, you'll see that you can see a preview of how it's going to look before we apply it. And if I click, I get the preset again. So that's simply how presets work inside of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom.